Welcome to the opening match of Group C between Austria and Romania. Big match this one. No one wants to start off bad in any group. Let's get over to the team news and see who's playing today. Austria have chosen a 4-2-3-1 formation today. In goal they have Sisson Stankovic, a back four of Andre Ulmer, Martin Hinteregger, Alexander Dragovic and Stefan Lehner. In defensive midfield they have Konrad Leimer and Julian Baumgart Linger. And in attack they have David Alaba, Marcel Sabitzer and Valentina Lazaro supporting Marko Onotovic up front. Romania have gone for a 4-2-3-1 formation. In goal they've got Ciprian Tatarusana, back four of Nikasu Banku, Adrian Roos, Ayan Nedel Siaro and Romario Benzar. Two central defensive midfielders in Tudor Baluta and Razvan Marin. An attacking midfield three of Florinel Coman, Nikolai Stanchow, Inas Hadji and up front George Puskas. Here we are for the opening game of Group C. We've got Austria versus Romania today. We've got Austria in a 4-2-3-1 formation shooting from left to right. We've got Romania in also in a 4-2-3-1 formation shooting from right to left. Big game for both teams here. Let's see who comes out on top here. Austria the favourites by far in this game. Romania one of the weakest teams in the competition. We've already had all oh, we've got issues with somebody in the middle there. Got all sorts of things going on with him. Got the tight in a bow there of um, David Alaba. Oh my word. Have we got an early goal here? A shock early goal. I think it's been cheekily tapped in on the line. Cheekily tapped on the line there. But it's a... Uh, but it's a... Oh, my word. I'm, I'm so shocked. I'm lost for words there. Austria have remained and taken the lead. I'm stunned. I honestly thought came into this game thinking it was quite a one-sided affair. However, however, this is this has come, come as a surprise to me. As you can tell by my voice, I'm stunned. I think that was the, the zebra there of Valentina Larazzo. Lazaro trying to tap that one in. I think it was tapped on the line, possibly by somebody else, though. We will confirm this one, don't worry. VAR checks will confirm the goal score for that first goal. But here come... Here come Austria now. A wayward shot there. I am stunned. With it, a minute into this game, I thought this was going to be a comfortable victory for Austria. Can Russia... Russia? Romania get this sorted out. Oh my word. A long ranger. That, I, I do not know what is going on here. This is one of the shocks already of the tournament for me. We've had some some, some shock some shock goals and shock shock results, but uh, again, going to have to clarify who scored that one. Two 0 to Romania with a with a worldly from 70 yards there. Can Austria get back in this game? We're a minute and a half in it now, and so far Austria have done nothing. Cross comes in the box now. Great clearance there from the goalkeeper Cyprian Tatarazana. And are we going to see? Are we going to see Romania on the counter again? Oh, no, great counter! Great defender there from Valentina Lazaro, the uh, the right winger there for um for Austria. But here comes George Puskas, the pig for the pig for Romania. He's crossed in the box. Puskas, oh, what a clearance from Lazaro, the the zebra, the right wing zebra. He's actually currently a leg down as well. How is he going along that pace? He's lost both his legs. He's 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 down. You can only run on two legs for so long when you need four. The guy is down. I think he's, he's, he may be out of the game. Can they tap this one in here? Can they bundle it over the line? How's he missed that? Conrad Lima there has managed to miss it from on the line. And if... and it, it, This is a massive moment in the game here. If, if Romania can break clear here and make this 3-0, this game might be dead and buried. We're two minutes, 20 seconds into this game. This is an almighty important part of the game here. This could be a turning point in the match. There's not a lot of Romanian players up on the pitch here. The tight end of Boa or David Alaba crosses the ball in. Can they get this clear? No, they can't. I think that was the line. I think that was the line there of Alexander Dragovic, the centre back, tapping that one in. It's 2 1. That could have been. That was a massive moment there. Had, had Romania got a third goal there, I think the game was done. We're now, we're now 2 minutes 50 seconds into the game. It's 2 1. And here comes the, the compi. Oh, the compi of Iron at Nidocloro. Couldn't put it away. And now, all of a sudden, Austria on the counter. Can the, can the, can the giraffe Cyprian Tatarazana, the keeper, clear this one? No, he can't. The griller of Nikolai Stancho is getting back to defend it. What are you doing? They've had a, oh, they've had a shocker there. They've nearly put it in their own net. Nikolai Stancho, the griller there, saves it off the line. Thought it was going to be 2-2 there. They've saved themselves with a last-ditch tackle. And here comes, I think this is Puskas. I think this is Puskas coming forwards. Look at the speed of, that isn't Puskas, it's Romario Benza. What speed he had there, bombing down the wing. Here comes the compi of Iron and Nidoclero again. Oh, lying there. The lion there for um, of Alexander Dragovic. Scored the first goal, nearly scored another one. But only, only just wide there. And here come, 
Here comes the compi. Oh my god, the compi of Romania. I know, Nedel Throw. Makes it 3 1. The pace of the guys. They've counted again. We are nearly four minutes into this game. This is an almighty shock to me. I did not see this one happening. Now we've got the gazelle. Adrian Roos, the other centre-back coming forward. He's been munched off the ball there. The compi again coming forward. Is that going to go in? Can they tap this one in again? Oh my god. I can't tell who that was. It was either Nikosu Banker, the left back, or Iron at Nedosero again. Defense defender, central defender. 4 1. What is going on here? This is an absolute shock for me. I thought Austria had a great chance in this tournament of doing pretty well. Certainly not getting battered by Romania in the opening match. David Alaba trying to rescue something for his team here. He's got the ball in the corner. You don't want to be in there. You want to get this in the middle ASAP. They're absolutely destroying everyone. There's some rage coming out from the Austrian players now. But as a result of that, we could see another we could see another another Romanian counter. Here comes Nikasur Bangu. He's missed that one, but he's tapped in the rebound. It's 5-1. What is going on? This is the biggest hammering we've had all tournament. Romania, one of the weakest teams, one of the uh, one of the lowest ranked teams so far to play as well. And it's 5-1. What is happening here? They're coming forward again. This Oh, they've managed to clear this one. I am I am shocked at what I'm seeing. There's a minute left in this game, and Romania have absolutely annihilated Austria so far. Is there any way back for them? Goal there from Valentina Lazaro, probably the best player for the for the Austrians, the Zebra, today. It's 5-2. They've got 40 seconds. They're not going to win this game. They're not they're, they're not going to get a draw from it. But can they get the goal difference up a little bit to try and help them out for, by the end of the group? Goal difference could come could could become key by the end of it. But Romania have just bossed this game. And this could be another one for Lazaro. Can he clear it? Oh, no, it's an own goal. It's an own goal there. That's a shocker. From Razvan Marin. And now there's 20 seconds left and it's 5-3. I mean, this game is still dead and buried. But Romania will be annoyed at themselves for blowing a couple of goals out at the end. There's 10 seconds left. Are we going to get a late goal in this game? I think that's going to be it now. Unless this can crawl over the line. There's five seconds left. They might just get a chance to put this one in as well. It may well go in. They have. They've made it 5-4 just as the final whistle goes there. That was um, Stefan Leiner, another defender, right back scoring from it. That's the end of the game, though. 5-4. Romania will be disappointed. They blew, blew a four-goal lead to get it back to just 5-4. Austria will be fuming that they've not somehow got anything out of that game. They're by far the favourites in it, but Romania take a shock 5-4 win in the opening match in Group C. Well, I think we can all agree that was an enthralling opening Group C match there with Romania snatching a 5-4 victory. Could have been a lot more comfortable, but Austria came back and uh, closed the gold runs at the end there. The Netherlands versus Ukraine match is on later tonight. I hope you guys will join us back there later on for that coverage. Until then, bye for now.